Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is all about gift inspiration ideas for a two and a half year old toddler boy. So the first couple items are ones that we have experience with and feel that we can recommend for um, toddlers or kids at around a two and a half year old age. So the first one that we have is the Marble Run Track. Now this is magnetic and it, we have it stuck to our um, refrigerator drawer. We have a freezer drawer on the bottom. So what you do is you line them up. We will make a track for him. The fun part for the toddler is it comes with two little marbles and if they put them up at the top the marble runs down the track and then eventually it gets caught in a piece down here to where they dig it out and they put it back in there. This is great for in the kitchen. Like I said, we have it stuck to the fridge. You can maybe put it to the dishwasher if you have a dishwasher. This is great if you're trying to take care of dishes or cook a meal. They are right there. You can kind of keep an eye on them and it keeps them busy and it's a good um, logical of, okay, if I put this here, what is the end result? What is gonna happen? So this one is very, very good. So the next item I want to mention is the good old fashioned Play-Doh. Now we have um, four large containers of Play-Doh. We also have several small colors. He's got a stash of Play-Doh. We keep it in a nice little container. We have just little cookie cutters that I keep in there, a truck, because we're a boy, we like trucks, we like things with wheels. I've got the letters to his name. So as we're working with his name, with his letters, these are right here with the Play-Doh. We have rolling pin. The other thing that he has really become fond of, and this is great because it teaches early skills of using scissors, I got these off of Amazon, and they are just plastic, this is from Crayola, um, just plastic scissors. This one is just plain straight edge. This one, I don't know if you can see, it kind of makes like a wave when he's cutting. And then this one here is serrated. He loves using these. The nice thing is you cannot cut hair. You, you can cut paper with it, it is kind of difficult. Um, but this is perfect for Play-Doh because Play-Doh is nice and soft, so this cuts right through it. So this is nice, made specifically so there's not sharp points, shouldn't have too much of a chance of getting hurt. Um, but I know I don't have to worry about him cutting himself, cutting clothes, cutting hair, or anything of that sort. So I like to keep these with his little Play-Doh stash. Can't go wrong with a classic Play-Doh. I'm all about coloring experiences, getting that, um, the holding of pencils and crayons and just bringing out the creative side of them. The big thing with him right now, we do have regular crayons, we've got regular markers, but twistables. Perfect for um, fine motor skills to get them kind of twisting. He typically twists it all the way out and then that's how he wants to color. So we're trying, we're working on only twisting out just a little bit so it doesn't break. But this is great. It's kind of new. It's new to them. It's not like a typical crayon. I mean it is, but it's got the twisting aspect of it. So it's very, very new. We try to keep these in the truck, in the diaper bag, so that if we're out somewhere eating, um, church if we if we need something to distract him but yet it won't make a noise or be super loud we have these on hand just about everywhere that we could possibly be where we may need them uh, the other one that we have is these are same thing they're twistables but they're more like a colored pencil so this is even finer as you can tell the other ones were twistable crayons these are twistable um, colored pencils same thing you just twist it as you want to extend it Hopefully they don't twist it all the way out because it does break very, very easily. And the last one, like I said, these, these three kind of run together. As they are all crayon related. The other ones are these little crayons. I found these at Target in the little dollar bin section. Um, these had several different colors, I think maybe 10 of them. They fit toddler fingers perfect. I can get my finger in there, but I don't want to color too long with them because it does kind of start hurting. But for toddlers, his finger fits in there nice and easy but you take it on your finger and then you can just color. We have watched YouTube videos on this where they sing the song in the different colors. He, sung, he sings along with it. So you can use this multiple different ways to color, to work on singing, um, singing your, the, the, the names of the colors. And 
you can also stack them. So multi-use on these little crayons here. These next items have become probably one of my most favorite items, um, and that is the Melissa and Doug. Can't go wrong with any Melissa and Doug, I feel like. But the Melissa and Doug Water Wow. We keep these in the truck, <laughs> kind of like the, the colored pencils and the crayons. We keep one in the truck, one in the diaper rack, so we have one everywhere we go. But what happens here is you untwist this and you fill this with water. So just plain water goes in here. And then you'll kind of have to turn it upside down to get it like activated, but it just paints water. So you take this pad, and as you can see, it just, I mean, it looks black and white. But when you lightly go over it with the paintbrush, images start appearing. You paint it on, you can find hidden images, and they have on all these pages, look for five big fish, look for four seashells. So there's so many opportunities to interact with this. They can learn about new animals, dolphin obviously on this one, the squid, the fish. You've got different colors you can incorporate, and you've got some counting that you can do. They've got, each book has four pages. So right here is the, the, the listing of what you can find in here once they color it. But once this dries, this is the great part, once this dries, you're back to square one. You're back to what this looks like right here. So then they can go color it again. If you have several of these, once they color all, all four pages and you're waiting for them to dry, you can get another one out. So when you're done, you can just take this, dump the water out, the top part will dry off, and then you can put it in the compartment for future use, but these I highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, they do, I forget how many of these they have. We just have the three, the three books of them. I know there's more out there, but this is a great one. It's kind of small, so it'll fit into a diaper bag or a bag of any sort, or like I said, even in the, the compartment on a truck door or a vehicle door. From experience, guarantee this keeps them busy. So we are finally into books the past couple months he has gotten really interested in books which is great because we have so many to choose from um, but a few of his favorites I wanted to go over now our little guy is a tractor dude all the way tractor 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 um, farm equipment or construction equipment um, he's around it through family through friends so um, he does have real life experience around it and seeing it and I think maybe that's why he likes these books so much because he can relate to them. His three favorite books right now. The first one, Five Little Monkeys. He has started um, reading this along with us or to us sometimes, but he loves the part where the doctor says, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So this has become one of his favorite ones because he looks forward to the part where where the doctor, you know, tells the orders to the mom. So this is a nightly read every night. These three books have to get read. It's almost like he can't go to sleep if we don't read these books. So the first one, um, Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. This is a nice board book, so it's nice because I don't have to worry about um, anything happening to the pages too rough um, or tearing it up. So his next favorite book is Dalmatian in a Digger. The reason he likes this book so much, yes, it contains diggers, dump trucks, cranes, the, uh, but the main reason he likes this book is because on every page, there is a mouse to find. So you get to read the page, discuss what's going on, and then he gets to find the mouse. You turn the page, he gets to find the mouse, and the mouse is in different spots on either the two-page spread or sometimes he's in one on each page. So he's over here and in this page he's over here. He loves that part of this book. The enjoyment of going through and discussing the equipment of course, but then finding the mouse on every page. His absolute favorite book right now, hands down, loves this book. And if you could tell through the video, you could probably see where the pages are just worn from reading this book so much and him turning it. And it's Where's My T-R-U-C-K. 
says truck, but you'll notice the dots in between it. You are to read it that way. Um, and it starts off because shh, my, I hear my parents say, Tommy's not himself today. He's lost his T-R-U-C-K. Just like parents, whenever we don't want the kids to hear a word or something, we spell it out. That is how this book is set up. Um, it's also a rhyming book. So today in the K, but it goes through and it just talks about him looking all over for his favorite red truck. And at the very end, he finds his truck, his, his red truck, and then his day's just all great again. Highly recommend, recommend this book. So now that we've discussed things that he had, I'm going to go over the things that we got him this year. So the first thing is we celebrated St. Nick last week, um, first part of December. And in his stocking, he got gloves. So you're wondering, why gloves? We are outdoor enthusiasts. So summertime, we're outside in the garden, we're mowing. I mean, we hardly ever inside during the summer. We're just outside tinkering, doing something. In the wintertime, we're still outside. We burn wood for heat and to heat our water. So we spend a lot of time back at the wood pile cutting wood or bringing wood in. And monkey see, monkey do. He wants to do everything that we do. We each have a chainsaw. He's got his own chainsaw. It's a little battery operated chainsaw. We both go out there with our boots. He's got his pair of boots. We would both go out there, have our gloves on, and he would want to wear gloves like what we had. Found these little bitty gloves. They look just like mine. So these are more similar to what I wear. Um, but these are perfect because now when we go out, we've got our gloves with the fingers that we use with the wood and now he's got his. These are size extra, extra, extra small. So it did come in a pack of three, blue, green, and they did come with pink. The next thing that he got in his stocking was a book. As I said, he's a tractor man, so of course it had to be a tractor book. This is just as simple, I am a tractor. Just kind of goes through on the farm, different things. This one is a little bit more specific on the equipment because it talks about the giant wheels, um, the draw bar on the back, what it does, um, other larger machines, and it even mentions like the hydraulic lift. So this is the perfect one. Obviously, he loves the shape of the tractor. So this was a very good, nice little stocking stuff for, for him. The last thing that he got in his stocking, it was kind of a, um, a combined gift, I guess you could say. He got the Polar Express book, and in addition to the Polar Express book, he got the train that goes around the tree. He has loved it. Um, we set the train up, so now he, we can kind of correlate train, read about it, and then he gets to see it go around, go around the tree. Um, he had been needing some new pajama sets. These are 14 pajamas, got these at Sam's, was going through their grocery shop and came across and I thought, perfect, they're not tractors, but it's equipment, it's big machines, he loves it. And it's four pieces, so you've got one outfit and then the second outfit is back here. These are perfect, no feet, don't have to worry about the socks. Um, and of course has the equipment on it. Speaking of equipment, uh, we came across this last week and he is real big into scooping things up with his tractor and dumping it. We came across this and we had a big debate on it. We decided to go with this, this, this route because we can use this inside with beans or toys or blocks or Legos, anything that could be scooped up and put in. But this is also something that he could take outside and scoop up things outside with. But it's got the tractor trailer truck, the dump wagon, and it's got the, the loader. So multi-use, we can use this inside, outside. So this is the route that we went here. So this is one of the two toys that we got him this year for Christmas. The other toy that we decided on, talked about, were Legos. Now, he's two and a half. He, we're past the putting it in the mouth stage. So if your child is not past the stage of experimenting and putting toys and things in their mouth, I would not recommend this. We have just a handful of Legos. We went and purchased, I think this one has 
484 pieces. We'll be able to build a couple of sheds for, for the tractor, so it'll be just fine. The next gift was actually handmade, handmade by myself. Um, it is a reading pillow. It's a pillow just for him that he can use for reading, but what is nice about it is he can store his book right in here. So the book that he's gonna get that's gonna go right in here is Good Morning Snowplow. Maybe we'll get snow here in Southeast Missouri where we can go show him one in real life. If not, he'll just have to dream about it in the book until we can see one. If you are needing a gift idea for daycare kiddos, this is a simple, nice, homemade gift. I went ahead and for a gift for those kiddos for Christmas from Preston, I made each one of them their own pillowcase. Came up to about $5, I think, worth of fabric. And then to go into each one of their pillowcases, I got them a book. They open in the back. I did not include the pillow form. It's just a 16 by 16 pillow form. And stick it in there and it will look just like Preston. So right here in the back is where you can open it, put the pillow in there. Hopefully the kids will um, find it commemorative and like the reading pillows. The kids can pull it out down the road and have something personalized. Um, I always feel like those are those those make the best gifts, honestly. So the last thing I want to share with you is a tradition that we've done the past two years with Preston. The 12 days leading up to Christmas, we have a book wrapped. 12 days before Christmas, he gets to unwrap a book that night and we get to read it. These are all Christmas books. For instance, this one, um, peek a flap, ho, 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 lift a flap book. Um, the next night, he gets to pull another, another book, another present, unwrap it, and we have another new story to read. Kind of keeps it to where you're not reading the same books night after night. It's nice to have um, kind of get in like more of the Christmas mode, the Christmas spirit. I always try to make sure night before Christmas that I have some sort of manger type book that he opens. This year it's going to be Christmas in the barn. The story of Christmas and why we celebrate it. So I always try to do this one as the very last one leading up to Christmas Day. This year I'm excited because he understands opening gifts, he understands unwrapping, so I think it'll be fun to watch him get excited about opening up a book and then what book it's gonna be and what we're gonna read about that night. So I'm really, really excited this year about the 12 books of Christmas, as I like to call it. But it's nice because it's not toys, it's books that we can use multiple times looking back on and we can share it years down the road. The unwrapping of each new book would take place 12 days before Christmas starts. I hope you have enjoyed today's toddler gift guide video specifically for toddler boys of the two and a half year old age. If you liked today's video, you found ideas, you found inspiration for it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Until next time, I hope your family has a blessed and a Merry Christmas. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.